So song number four in the Suzuki book is called Cuckoo. And it is, it is a song that will take many, 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 many weeks and months of practice before you can play it completely with hands together and both of the parts. But we start early on to learn each of the pieces of this song so that by the time you're starting to put your hands together with Mary Had a Little Lamb, which is not until song number eight, you've already had a whole month or two to learn the left hand part of Cuckoo and the right hand part of Cuckoo as songs all by themselves. So I want you to think about that. It's a really long process of learning and you're just going to learn one part at a time as individual songs and then eventually someday you will put them both together. So to begin with with Cuckoo, you can learn the right hand part which is a song about a cuckoo bird and you can learn the left hand part which is a song about Charlie Brown who's hiding and we're looking for him all around the house. So I'm going to play these two songs for you. The right hand song of Cuckoo and the left hand song of Cuckoo. Which one should I do first? You know what? I think my favorite one is the left hand. So I will do the left hand first. Here's how the song goes and I want you to listen carefully to the words. with you. Let's do that one more time. Here we go up and down looking for Charlie Brown. Hmm. I wonder if we can find him somewhere. We're also looking for his friend. Hmm. Here we go up and down looking for Snoopy. Hmm. So I wonder if we can find Charlie Brown. Or can we find Snoopy? Can you find them anywhere? Where are they? Under the big oak chair. Is it hiding under the chair? Hmm. Under the teddy bear. Are they hiding under the teddy bear? Here we go. for Charlie Brown and his friend Snoopy. We're looking under the big oak chair. We're looking under the teddy bear and we're going up and down looking for them. Where did they go? Let's do it one more time. We'll sing all those words. Try and sing along. Here we go up and down looking for Charlie for the Charlie Brown and Snoopy song. So the first practice assignment to learn this song about Charlie Brown and Snoopy is to listen to it and sing along with it until you know all the words and all the notes by singing them, okay? So at first you will just listen to it every day, sing along and get to know it after about a week or two. Then you can try and start to find the notes on the piano and see if you can figure out what those notes are. We start with C, with your pinky. So that's your little clue. See if you can figure out how to play. Here we go. The beginning of the Charlie Brown song. And up and down. And can you play Charlie Brown? So you'll try to find those parts of the song and little by little figure out how to play the Charlie Brown and Snoopy part of Cuckoo. Okay, so that's the left hand part. Do you want to hear the right hand part? 
This is the right hand song of Cuckoo and it's a completely different song. So we have two songs, the Charlie Brown and Snoopy song and the Cuckoo song and someday you're going to play both of them together like a duet. But for now we're just going to play them one at a time. So here's the Cuckoo song. It goes like this and we start with our pinky on the right hand too. So both pinkies start this song. Pinky on the right hand and pinky on the left hand. So we're going to hear these two notes at the beginning of the song, just so you know how it starts. We have a C on the bottom and you have a G on the top and you're playing with your pinkies with both hands. Okay, so the cuckoo song with the right hand goes like this. Cuckoo, cuckoo, high in the treetops. Cuckoo, cuckoo, where did you go? Oh, we are missing somebody else. Now we're looking for cuckoo. So we were looking for Charlie Brown and Snoopy, and in the right hand song, we're looking for Cuckoo. Why? Because we love Cuckoo. We want to find the Cuckoo bird. Cuckoo, I need you. Cuckoo, I love you. Cuckoo, Cuckoo, where did you go? We're looking for Cuckoo everywhere. So we have to find Cuckoo, and we have to find Snoopy, and we have to find Charlie Brown. Mm, and you have to find the notes to this song. So that's the very first lesson on Cuckoo, and I hope that someday you'll be able to play it with the right hand and the left hand together, and it'll be a duet between the two songs about finding our friends Charlie Brown, Snoopy, and Cuckoo.